time. <sighs> Once again, I'm going to take my mask off because it's safe. And, oh, I have a friend with me here today. The chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken wanted to hear the story. Oh, and I decided to wear my headband today with all the little chicks on it. They're so cute. I love the little chicks. Hmm. If I have chicken and I have chicks, what might my stories be about? Did I hear? Am I thinking? Is somebody out there saying chickens or little chicks? That's what you said. You are right. The first story, though, is a little odd. It's called Blue Chicken by Deborah Friedman. Blue Chicken. Now, I've always seen like white or red or brown. I don't know what could have happened to this poor little chicken. Let's find out. Oh, and I forgot to mention when I'm reading books, I am supposed to let people know that the publisher, uh, who the publisher is, that's the person who puts the books together, and the publisher is Penguin Group. It's a new thing I just learned that I need to do. So, at last, this picture book is almost finished. The chickens are white, their coop is brown, and the day is perfect for painting the barn. But wait, does one of the chickens want to help? Instead of the barn, oh no, she's painting herself. She's toppled the blue, and the spilled blue is spreading, and the ground grows blue too. Oh my goodness. The once purple pansies now bloom blue. Blue-yellow ducklings splatter the cat. A moo wakes the chickens. They're peeved and blue. They dump the red wheelbarrow, dropping that chicken who just wanted to... Help! But the chicken is sorry. Sincerely sorry. Maybe the chicken can um, undo the blue. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. <gasps> Look what's happening. chick in it. <laughs> I love this title. Peep and Egg. Two little chicks. One is named Peep and one is named Egg. And Egg says, I'm not taking a bath. This is by Laura Gell. I'm looking to see the publisher. Our publisher is 
Faro Strauss Bureau Books for Young Readers. I know for you that doesn't, isn't part of the story, but for me, I will do that. Here we are. Egg, were you playing with the pigs? Pete asked. I think you need a bath. said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. Well, we could use Mrs. Sheep's special shampoo, Peep said. Too bubbly, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. I could wash you with a hose instead, said Peep. Too splashy, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. How about a quick dip in the dog's water bowl, Peep said. Ugh, too slobbery, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. We could walk over the hill to the river, Peep said. Too fishy, said Egg, and too fast. I'm not taking a bath. Okay, I guess you're not taking a bath today, Peep said. said. Would you like a towel? No thanks, said Egg. I don't need a towel. Because I'm not getting out. And Egg stayed in to have a good time in the bath. So that's our story with Peep and Egg. This is a new book at the library, so when we're able to be out and about again, perhaps you'd come and want to check this book out. So I'm going to get our friend Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider, there he is, here again to say hello. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again and that's spider happy with the song saying bye bye until next time there goes spider how about we do twinkle little star the twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are I always like the star song. It's a lot of fun. And today, oh, guess who's here today to say hello? our friend, Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear, what, 
Wait a minute. Teddy bear? There's Teddy bear. Teddy bear says hello. Oh, he's playing with us. We have to call him Teddy bear. Teddy bear. There he is saying hello. Oh, oh, he's hiding again. Teddy bear. Come out, Teddy bear. Oh. There he is, and he's waving and throwing kisses and hugs, and he's hoping to see all the children soon, and he thinks about you all the time, and what'd you say? And he hopes you'll come to story time when the library opens again, and that everybody's taking time to stay safe and be careful with everything they do. Hugs and kisses from Teddy Bear and Mrs. Can, Miss Diane. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.